Sharks, more than 500 species of the undersea world, the top predator of the ocean's ecosystems. But this morning, troubling news. The most extensive worldwide reef study ever reveals shark populations on a steep decline. Scientists saying in many cases, sharks are functionally extinct. Functionally extinct means that there may still be some animals out there, but they're not enough to fill their ecological role. For years, we've known that the sharks that live way out offshore have been in real trouble, but we didn't know how sharks on coral reefs were doing. And so we wanted to figure out where are those sharks in trouble, where are they doing well, and ultimately, how can we help them? Five years ago, marine biologists at Florida International University started the Global Fin Print Study, focusing on sharks attracted to reefs, like tigers and hammerheads. If coral reefs are sort of like a smorgasbord for yep. sharks, what did you uncover? Well, what we found is that in about 20% of the places we went to study, we saw no sharks at all, which means they're basically extinct from an ecological perspective in those reefs. Getting the data was a monumental undertaking. Underwater cameras placed on more than 370 coral reefs around the world. Collectively, more than two years of continuous, non-stop footage of what was there, and most importantly, what they found was not showing up. What's the technology to do this? I mean, it seems like it must be pretty challenging to look at reefs around the world underwater. Yeah, so people thought we were crazy when we started this five years ago, but the technology for underwater cameras finally got small enough and cheap enough that we could put together a network of more than 100 scientists to work in 58 nations and collect 15,000 hours of video with bait in front of it so we could count how many sharks were in each place. The worst cases, reefs in the Dominican Republic, the French West Indies, Kenya, Vietnam, and Qatar, where not one shark was detected. 20% of the places we go, we didn't see any sharks at all. And a bunch more places, we saw far fewer sharks than we should have. I mean, that shows we have a crisis. Hundreds and hundreds of, of hours of video, and we see more trash bags than we see sharks. And that's really concerning because you know these predators are probably important to having healthy oceans. The study's findings, a warning that scientists believe is now a challenge for mankind. What do you think is causing the decline in sharks and what role does man have to bring them back? Yeah, so it's all about overfishing. We're just catching too many sharks and that's- So it's our fault. Yeah, it, it's people's fault. We're, we're catching too many because we want their fins or we want the meat. Can fishermen use a different method that won't necessarily wipe out sharks. Some of the methods that are being used in particular areas catch kind of anything out there. They don't target the fish the, that the fishers want. So just a little change in the gear they use can make a big difference for sharks. But some good news too. The study also found sharks are abundant in countries where sharks are protected by government fishing regulations, notably off the United States, Australia, the Bahamas, French Polynesia, and the Maldives. There are still places with healthy sharks populations and we see when governments and communities work together they can protect their sharks and have healthy reefs so you can have both you can have fishing you can have healthy reefs and now we've developed the toolkit to help governments do that researchers believe with the indisputable video evidence governments and the fishing industry can now work to protect reefs and rebuild shark populations for the health of the oceans, this is important because? If you're gonna have healthy oceans, part of the mix is having healthy populations of top predators like sharks. So it's not just about sharks, it's about the whole ecosystem, but we need all those components if we're gonna have thriving ecosystems in the oceans that support what people need. Carrie, how will countries benefit from this study? Well, now that they have the evidence and the understanding of the proof of this, countries like the Dominican Republic, where they found no sharks, are beginning to implement government regulations on fishing, which hopefully will begin to bring back the shark populations to those reefs, guys. Hey, Carrie, really quickly here, I mean, 100 scientists, nearly 60 countries, that's a lot of video. Who, who logs all of that footage? <laughs> 60,000 volunteers, including Professor Mike House's, uh, Mike Heithouse's mother. She sat oh. there watching the video, 
counting the sharks. So it's all in, entire family effort. And I have to make a note that Mike Heithouse's uh, wife also made this mask for me. Of course she did. Of course she did. She logs tape. We care about them. She makes masks. (laughs) Exactly. She's awesome. A mother's love. Carrie Sanders, thank you, Carrie.